every land that he went into, he was trained to go into those lands to look at the people that are there as potential threats. When he came here, a fellow agent warned him that the people here were supposedly hostile towards Haulis. He decided to go out, again, a loaded gun with a loaded gun, justified by a badge with a license to kill, got drunk, and when he heard the word Haulis, a, a, a word in the mother tongue of this Aina, this is our language that they're trying to consider make illegal that they're trying to say is a justification for murder this is the language of the people of the land for whom he had been prepped prepped to consider violent and hostile so when they heard that word he targeted colin elders and shot him in cold blood we are here to stand for justice not just for the elder Tohana, but for all of us, because we truly believe that Colin could have been any one of our sons and any one of our daughters. He did nothing wrong. He was a little kolohe, but he did never did a single thing that would warrant being executed. Mahalo. I'd like to bring up Ohana Koro. Oh, wait, actually, I'd like to bring up um, Women's Voices, Women's Speak. Hello everybody, um, I have members of uh, Women's Voices Women Speak, we're a Hawaii chapter of the international organization, it's International Women Against Militarism, and we're very proud to be here uh, by your side, we have a statement and we're going to be reading it, there are four of us that are going to be presenting our statement. Hello everybody, we're Women's Voices Women Speak. And we are here today to express our support for the family of Colin Elders. It is with heavy hearts that we deliver this statement. We know that their grief has surely not lessened since that horrible night in November 2011 when this precious young person was brutally murdered. No amount of solidarity, excuse me, no amount of solidarity will bring back this son, brother, cousin, friend. Nevertheless, we know that at times like these, we must let this family know that they do not grieve alone. This Kanaka Maoli family does not walk to that American courthouse alone. As a compassionate community, we walk with this family today, encircling them with the care and protection of our bodies, protection we could not offer to dear Colin that night Christopher Didi took his life away. Our friends at the Parents of Murdered Children recently reminded us that once your family has been impacted by deadly violence like this, you never feel secure again. Imagine that, to never feel secure again. That is how it feels when your child is murdered. Now imagine that it is the government, this illegal occupying government, who did the killing. And now, that same government refuses to call it murder. As we march today, we know very little can make things better for the Eldritch family. But unfortunately, we are minded that there are many things that are making it worse. And going through two trials is surely making things worse. Away. Having Away. Christopher Didi still on the job Away. with his badge, Away. carrying Away. his gun, is making things worse. And having to listen to media and defense team make disparaging remarks about Colin Away. is making things worse. Away. Why was Christopher Didi not tested for drugs and alcohol? Apparently as a special agent, he could refuse to do so. He also has the good fortune of being alive to tell the tale. But Colin, on the other hand, is subject to any number of allegations about his behavior that night, but he is no longer here to defend himself. This is a violation of his basic human rights and dignity. While we are outraged by his murder, we are also outraged by the way he's now being bombarded with these insults against his character. Away! 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 
We are an organization that stands for genuine security. What does that mean to us? It means that we believe quality, food, water, housing, and education are the highest priorities for human beings to feel safe and secure in a genuine way. We also believe that people's fundamental human dignity should be honored and cultural identities respected. We're an organization that stands up against militarism and any notion that the U.S. military's presence is natural here. The APEC conference represents the opposite of these priorities. They represent the 1%, the mega rich, the corporations, those with the money to protect their assets and their agenda. And sure enough, a militarized peace, a police force has hired, was hired at great expense, at our expense, to protect their agenda. With Christopher Didi's help, they knew they could aim their guns at anyone suspected of getting in their way and shoot with impunity. Many of us did not know how serious they were about this agenda until they took calling away from us. Why is it important to think about security? Because this government commits these heinous acts in the name of national security or regional security or public safety. And they depend on us not to complain or protest or call them out on their lies. But we are here to let them know we demand justice for Colin Elder. We demand genuine security, genuine peace, and genuine sovereignty for our families, our communities, and our precious island home. Ohanakoa Nuclear Free and Independent Pacific. Aloha. Ohanakoa Hawaii Chapter of Nuclear Free and Independent Hawaii and Pacific demands justice for Colin Elders and call for the conviction of Secret Service Agent Didi for his murder of this young man. That he could move for dismissal on the grounds that it was a good kill is a clear demonstration of our occupied status by the USA. Presently, over 20 countries are here for RIMPAC, practicing domination of the world in keeping with, now, I want you guys to remember this one now, okay? Pacific pivot. Obama said we were making a Pacific pivot. And remember this other one, TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership that's being negotiated right now. It allows secret treaties allowing plunder of our natural resources, minerals, and seabed drilling in our own home. We are surrounded by intense weaponry, sometimes in the form of massive tanks and submarines, other times hidden among us in plain clothes, drunk in a fast food restaurant, weapons hidden, aggressive against hostile neighbors. Holland could have been any of our sons or grandson. Out in the town, Kolohe, targeted by Didi for using a word in our own mother tongue, Holland. Howling. It is racial profiling at its worst with tragic consequences. Like Trayvon Martin, like the historic Palakiko Massive case, occupation and hegemony literally gives them license to kill. We stand with the elders of Ohio. Stand with you in your quest 
for justice. He is here to speak on behalf of our wonderful La Huy. Anai me kelo ha kaku pa kahi apau. E ola ki kahi moho o koha wa ipai ai na ko kaku La Huy ko kaku aupuni. Ke ola la nei ma ko kaku ola la makua hine. E hava kahana o Amerika. E hava kahana o kia kana ka ino o Dili. A e ho ia na kapono. Aloha kaku. I'm here speaking on behalf of our Aupuni, the rightful kingdom, the Lahui Kohaba Ipai Aina. Kalin was a Hawaiian kingdom subject. He was one of ours. And the injustice that happened to him took place because of the United States and their presence here in Hawaii. He's not the first and he's not the last of many who have been done wrong by America. We're here to stand and say ah ole. We're here to stand and say kue. And we're here to stand in aloha our aina and aloha our brothers and sisters. What has been done will never be justified. But we pule and we ask for everybody's pule in Hawaii and their prayer that pono and justice will come that America will deoccupy Hawaii, that Didi will be behind bars for hundreds of years, and that our Aupuni will be set and our flags will fly again in the one place that it can fly, in Hawaii Nei. Aloha kako. We're going to do a quick pule, and then followed by that, um, this is the end of the official part of it, but we're going to remain here for questions and answers by the press after we put it. 